What's going on, my YouTubers? It is your boy Ghostface Gaming, and I'm back once again with another video upload for you guys. This time it's a GTA Casino upload. Yes, this is another GTA Casino DLC update, upload, discussion, and I'm going to jump straight into it. I had a watcher tell me one time I take too long in my intro, so let's get it. So I think I'm going to tell it GTA Casino, I won the car. I did a live session on it earlier, and yes, I won the car. So I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It was like if you VIP, it's a one in four chance. You have VIP, it's like a one in 200. Or something, or something crazy they say when you get ready to spin the wheel, right? So I went in and I took my chances. I spun the wheel. Now I've the the thing about the wheel spin, right? It doesn't. It says you can spin the wheel, spin the wheel once every day. So let's get this clear. It's not a GTA day. You know, a GTA day is like every 48, 50 minutes or something like that. No, it's not a day that when they reset their uploads into their daily objectives, which is four or five o'clock in the morning. No. What it means by you can come back and spin the wheel the next day. Whenever you spin the wheel, as of lately, the first two, three times that I spun the wheel, I spun the wheel after midnight. So meaning you won't be able to spin that wheel again until after midnight. If you decide to spin the wheel at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and you get off from work early, say you get off at lunchtime and decide not to go back to work, guess what? You will not be able to spin that wheel until after 3 p.m. the next day. So I spun the wheel at around noontime today. That was 12 hours after I was initially able to spin the wheel again. So, spun the wheel, brrr. first hit, I won the car. I thought I was going to win money again. The first spin, I won the car. So, that being said, the new rumor that was going out, that people were saying is that when you win the car, first thing you want to do is go get insurance on the car. Because if you don't get insurance on the car, somebody can blow the car up, and you'll be out of a car and you won't be able to win that car again until the next free car is put up for the daily spin jackpot so as you're going to see you know I'm, you see me here riding through the city um, I think I got in uh, I got in here a, a, a gameplay a piece of the gameplay of me getting into a gang attack on the way to go to my nightclub to check on the car so I get to the nightclub gets in the car as you're gonna see in the gameplay coming up gets in the car drives the car to uh, Los Santos customs which I don't know why it showed me one so far away on the map which kind of had me nervous you know what I'm saying behind the rumors that what they were saying but it had put me at one so far away from the map when I know it's like one right around the corner from my nightclub where my nightclub position like I got my nightclub position at the airport which I'm gonna get into some news about the nightclubs in a second. So I got my nightclub position by the airport. Therefore, if I ever got any missions or nightclub promotions I want to run, I can go straight to the airport, pick up a buzzer chopper, or you know what I'm saying, something like that, and do the missions real fast and kind of keep myself protected at the same time. Cause I'm pretty nasty in that chopper. I'm pretty nasty at flying that chopper. Like I had that day doing a, a barrel roll and spin around in a circle on you and hit you with missiles all at the same time. Don't play with me anyway so we get the car to Los Santos Customs I make a quick couple quick repairs because you know I bumped into a few things on the way there I'm a reckless driver in a vehicle or GTA this is a fact I'm a real reckless driver or in a vehicle or GTA when you talk about the bikes and the planes though monster <laughs> or the bikes and them helicopters I'm pretty nasty in a plane too anyway so yeah we get into the Los Santos Customs right 
and after I do the repairs, I go straight to loss and theft protection. Go to loss and theft protection. I already owned it. So with that being said, I'm not sure exactly that once the car was deposited at my nightclub that my mechanic went ahead and put loss of theft protection on it because I know a couple times that I have bought and stole cars in game got got them to my garage at the house and take them back out and they blew up and I can't can't get them back because I didn't get loss of theft protection on them. so I don't know if that's something they patch that whenever you go inside of your garages or you park a new vehicle inside of your garage it automatically gets loss of theft protection I don't know if that's exactly the case but I know once I left my nightclub and took it to Los Santos Customs it already had loss of theft protection on it so I went ahead and armored it up a little bit you know what I'm saying souped up the engine and the transmission a little bit went ahead and changed the other few things up I brought it like I said I run a little low GTA cash and I've been talking back and forth with Rockstar and um, hopefully we'll be able to get these things cleared up as far as the rewards I was supposed to receive for linking my Twitch Prime account to uh, my GTA account. So, yeah, when I get my uh, <laughs> penthouse and be able to do the penthouse missions, we'll, we'll have some uploads for you guys on that. Um, right now, if you link the two accounts, you'll get 250000 Plus, you'll get the penthouse inside of the casino, which you can run the penthouse missions. They tell you that uh, running the missions the first time, you'll be able to cash out pretty decent. But if you try to run them again, the cash out on them is only like 30000 40000 So, And you know what I'm saying? To be able to get the car available after running all the missions, you have to be the host or the leader of the mission. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, what I was talking about with the nightclub update... You know, you used to have, if you want to promote your nightclub and, 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 you know, keep it at maximum so you can gain the maximum amount of money in the club. Like, I think I got 58000 in the safe right now, the club. But if you want to continue to gain the maximum, you have to run promotions, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and do club management. And with those, you probably would have to run almost 10, 11 promotions missions just to get your club back at half popularity but what it does now is you get 1.25 bars so basically breaking the math down now all you have to do is run four club promotions if your popularity is down to zero which i'll do a video on one day probably sometime later in the week but once you run your club promotions it gives you 1.25 bars of popularity so with that being said you get those 1.25 bars for club promotions you're back at full capacity and you know you'll be able to pack up your VIP and you know gain the maximum amount of money each day that you have set you know what I'm saying like if you have a hundred dollar set per head entry and then your clubs at full packs full max capacity then you already know what's going down so yeah as you can see this is the car right here that you win at least that's up for right now I don't know as of tomorrow you know GTA usually does its weekly patches updates and new missions tomorrow Tuesday so as of right now today and a pass with the past week since GTA Casino Diamond Casino has started. This is the car that was in the spin the wheel jackpot. So as you can see, you know I'm I'm toying with some paints and like I said, I armored up the car and I added a few things. I think I changed the grill out and something else. So if you got some time today, man, go in and give it a try. If you already VIP, you got a better shot. You got a one in four chance of winning the main jackpot. And the main jackpot was this right here. Um, I played some blackjack on there today, and I won like uh, I think it was almost a hundred thousand chips. No, it wasn't a hundred thousand. I'm so sorry. It was ten thousand chips. I ended up winning like ten thousand chips. I already got like twenty thousand, so I got a cool twenty. 22,000 because I blew a couple after that but I was hitting pretty big on the blackjack table in a diamond casino 
um people say you can win big bank on the slot machines um that's a look at a chance man that's all that's you have more chance of hitting big playing craps than you do with the slot machines i'm not gonna tell you no lie so whoever said that you can hit big on the slot machine that is really a really big like one in a hundred or one in two hundred chance yo i'm not even gonna lie i said trip with you so it's your boy ghostface gaming man like i was saying man we got a hundred more 150 mortal plan i bumped the number of yeah i bumped the number of 150 mortal plan once we get to 150 subscribers i'll give out a 25 dollar gift card whether it be to walmart it's going to be a choice of walmart or a playstation card so that way i can keep everybody